This episode is sponsored by Unbound and made possible by viewers like you. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Quick little makeout session went totally wrong. That's why you don't do it. You wait until you're married and you can be on the same boat. You know, I would. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I need this. I need this. Come on, please. Give me, give me a hug, man. Please, just give me a hug. Ow! Ow! Good stuff. <laughs> Where did they get this picture? It must have been a photo shoot or something. When you go from worship team to tech team. <laughs> Jesus defeating death with death. Reverse one leaf falls women's ministry team. <laughs> you know, they do this every year and it never gets old. And, uh, it's the same It joke. never gets old. It's the same joke. I already told you, I am not turning your water into pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I thought there was going to be more to that. <laughs> the look on her face too. Please. Ooh, come on, I know you can do it. <laughs> like throwing a mall co cocktail or whatever. I think the caption said something like, <laughs> get saved point zero zero two seconds before dying. <laughs> Study finds 100% of men would eat any fruit given to them by a naked woman. I wonder what the study is. <laughs> I think it's probably a Babylon Bee. Yeah. Stuff. Reviewing the live stream worship song I sang. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Divorced Christians. Another divorced Christian. God, is this my new spouse? <laughs> I mean, this is basically uh, love is blind. <laughs> Just constantly. I like that. I like that. I'm divorced. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Worship band. Auto tune. Reverb. Backing tracks, more reverb. <laughs> <laughs> Pro tip, always put the youth pastor at the edge of your staff photos so they can be cropped out in six months. That's actually not a bad tip. Not a bad idea. We had a youth pastor who stayed for years. One of our greatest friends that we'd never speak to anymore for some sad reason. This is good advice if you have someone in the family who's dating somebody, but you don't expect they're gonna be around very long. But you also don't have the heart to be like, uh, that's right. Can you take the photo? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christian Meme Review or the Blinded Cow Podcast. Why don't we have both? <laughs> hey, you can watch this yeah. show and the Blinded Cow Podcast. You can have both. I think people get confused because it's called a podcast, so they're like, where do I find it? It's here right here on the YouTube channel. It's on our YouTube channel. It's a great okay. variety show. You're going to love it. Check it out. We have a Christian Meme Review section. We also have a message section where we joint answer messages. So. All kinds of stuff. Other, great other show. Too, yes. Great show. Check it out. Go check it out. Every Friday. <laughs> Is it, it was either going to be that or Bible Man. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> which one was it going to be? And they chose Larry Boy. Now, guys, if, if you're the kind of person who enjoys this show, you're going to really want to pay attention to what we're about to say. Have you ever taken a personality test hoping that it would explain you to you so that when it kind of did, but not really, yeah. you found yourself trying to fit into the personality type that it said? Don't do that. There's a better way. We've gotten so much great feedback about this book that's been exclusively given to the Blimey Cow viewers via Unbound. It's called The Personal Triangle, and it is not 
a personality test. It's better than that. It's a model to help you capitalize on your core strengths. You'll have to intentionally account for your weaknesses and then grow in the direction that your interests take you. Unbound specializes in training adults with the skills and ability that they'll need to live and work effectively in the real world. Plus, they're friends of our channels and have been faithful sponsors for years and years. Bottom line, your gifts, strengths, and skills cannot be crammed into quadrants or categories or types or you know, whatever all these websites are gonna tell you. You're far more uniquely created than that. If this sounds like you at all, visit beunbound.us slash blindlycow to download the free book today. Again, that's beunbound.us slash blindlycow. Okay, back to Let's the memes. The memes. It goes on like slightly too long, it's funny. When an entire youth group walks in at 9.55 p.m. <laughs> Growing up me swinging by the nursery to ask for goldfish snacks. <laughs> the things that people do. Okay, here's my question. How can somebody over-dramatize stepping on Lego and <laughs> somehow manage to do it? Which didn't make it great. Yeah. He should have felt he over dramatized his own pain. He should he should have like had this like He should have like, just sucked it up. Yeah, with tears. Yeah. That would have been so much that funnier. Been funnier. And over dramatized. Then, then the music could have been that music from Phantom Menace when they're fighting Darth Maul. Yes, see that's better. Alright, we fixed it. That was good. What song was that? <laughs> I swear we've heard that song. Before. That was oh. great. Was that it? That's it. That what was it? That was that was twenty five me. No, nah, that was from Arthur. That was an Arthur quote. Oh, that was uh -oh. DW. Yeah, that was the episode where they stay up until midnight for January first. That, that was it. it? All right, we've got some supporter memes from supportblimeycow.com. You can go there, support us, and then send in memes. And the chances of them being on the show, if they're funny, I won't say 100% because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. 150%. We'll put it at about 80%, okay? 100%. 20% of the people are putting posting great memes, and we're just not using them accidentally. Yes. Okay. But God said, if I eat it, I'll die. Independent fact checkers have proven this to be false. <laughs> AI created an image from the phrase, Jesus flipping over the tables in the temple. <laughs> See if you get this one. Faith without works is dead. There you go. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Away at a manger, silent night. Oh, Christmas, it's almost here. Mm -hmm. You ready for, are you ready for Christmas this year? Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah. I love Christmas. <laughs> You know, Christmas was rough there for a little while, Josh. Mm -hmm. Then you, then it's like 2022, 2021. You're like, is it over yet? And then you like drive another, to Home Depot. Another Christmas. Wasted. You drive to Home P Depot, you see all the Christmas stuff out and you think it's not, they're not gonna let me do it this year still. Then you wait a whole other year. Then they tell you it's okay. And then it's ruined because you, you're just doing it because they told you. It's raining outside. I'm sorry, Jordan. <laughs> I know it was. It was a hard time. To win the youth group girl's heart, you must face the final boss. Yeah, yeah. If you meet this guy, walk away. Walk away. It's just Amazing. too much alpha energy there. Got the stuff? Jesus loves you. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Why is it that your clothes only get caught on the door handle when you're in a bad mood? That's the Lord grabbing you and telling you to stop being extra. <laughs> what does that mean? Extra. Extra what? Extra. extra. This means like you're... You, you, you're being too much. It's too much. You're being extra. All right. The four stages of sin. That looks interesting. It can't be that bad. This is worse than I had anticipated. Oh, be Jesus. <laughs> I'm saved, but the noises I make when I eat Chick-fil-A aren't. <laughs> yeah. You know, me and Sarah had a very hot uh, topic <laughs> debate. Oh, okay. That we, <laughs> what? <laughs> that we were. You know, me and Sarah had a very hot <laughs> topic <laughs> debate. We were Which talking, didn't even make sense. we were going through <laughs> driving past Chick-fil-A you know, we don't go there. We don't eat that <laughs> we stuff. We don't go there. And uh, I was like, Sarah, do you think that Chick-fil-A, which is better for you? A beef patty from Burger King actually grilled with smoke? Okay. Or a Chick-fil-A sandwich? And Sarah said, the Chick-fil-A sandwich. And I said, I disagree. But she said, the Chick-fil-A sandwich, because even if they do put bad stuff, like MSG and stuff in the 
uh -huh. the Chick-fil-A, at least it's just a piece of chicken. But with the patty, you don't know what they've ground up and thrown in there. Right. And I yeah. said, you're right, I agree. Yeah. So we both it's agree. It's still at its base chicken that might be infused. It's at least a whole chicken yeah. infused with stuff. Who knows what's in a burger these You days. don't know. It could be like 40% cow, 60%, God knows what. You know, we raise chicken, so if you have a chicken who's nasty in a bad environment, like it's just pretty messed up. It's yeah. gross because they're so short yeah. and they're like around their poop and stuff. Sure. If they're confined in an area. Now we don't raise ours like that, but you can see how this could happen. They lose their feathers. It's like touching their skin. It's disgusting. Ugh. With a cow, it's like, yeah, sure. If it's in a bad environment, that's bad, but at least its legs are long, that its <laughs> body is away from stuff. It's not sitting in its own so, filth. Anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, I, so Chick-fil-A, I guess. But thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a hot topic, topic conversation, conversation debate. Bye.